Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. Tonight's topic is, has Jada Pinkett and Will Smith lost their minds? Let's do it. Got a call on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Sam, calling from South Carolina. Hey, what's up, Sam? How you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful, man. Great. And, uh, thank you for having me, man. Uh, been trying to get in on this call. I know you got a hot topic going on. Uh, your show is buzzing down here in South Carolina, man. So I just want to let you know, man, I'm, I'm thankful to be on your call tonight. Hey, man, I appreciate you calling. Tonight's topic is Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Had, well, the topic is, has Jada Pinkett and Will Smith lost their minds? What do you think about tonight's topic? Uh, it's a great topic uh, as far as uh, them losing their mind. Uh, I, 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 I I can come at it from different angles, man. It, this is a hot topic. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of feeling sorry for this young man, uh, and I call him a young man. Uh, we probably started around the same age, but um, um, <laughs> listen, uh, she has just emasculated her man. Um, they both are living a, a pretend life publicly. Um, and I really can't give you my honest opinion until I read the memoir, but as far as what's going on with them, uh, the rumors about them living an uh, open life, uh, open sex life, um, uh, he haven't had sex with his wife for over seven years. Well, uh, I don't know if that's just rumors. I don't really know. I just seen a clip or her on the uh, Today Show saying that her and Will Smith have been separated for seven years. So if they separated, I don't know if they still living in the same house. I don't know if they not living in the same house, man. All I know is she just telling her side of the story and it's not looking good. Okay, so uh, I heard it coming from her mouth that they have not been romantically involved, intimate, in seven years. You know, uh, being that they have a big mansion, I don't know if she's staying in one side of the house and he's in the other side of the house, but you're still married legally. I would think that the man would still want sex unless he's just completely turned off from her, but I don't think so. I think when I see him, I believe that he's still in love with her, but when I look in her eyes and look at her disposition every time she's out with him, it seems like she's just uh, putting on a facade just to uh play that role for hollywood you know but so so what do you think about her going on a worldwide tour uh in preparation for the launch of her memoir that's on october the 17 2023 okay well uh looking at it from my point of view man that's the only way she can make money uh is you know like you say they live in this big house um and I heard her say myself that, you know, hey, they separated. They not divorced, but they separated. So if they living in the same house, you know, uh, it, of course they own uh, opposite sides of the house. But um, the way I look at it is she don't want to get a divorce uh, because as long as she have the last name Smith, she's going to make money. So okay. therefore she's going to stay in that house and she's going to stay with Will. And as long as this man allows her to do what she's doing, why not keep doing it? He's allowing her to do it. Uh, I've never, I don't personally know a man that would stay with a woman a year and be married to her and not have uh, a sexual relationship. So I don't know if this man got some psychological problems going on. I don't know if he got some, um, 
you know, some some other issues, some many issues going on, man. There's it's other rumors out there about Will Smith that I'm not going to put out because they just rumors. So um, I, I don't understand and I don't like it that she would uh, emasculate her man uh, by going around telling the whole world, making him seem like, you know, he's not aware uh, of what's going on. She makes it seem like, hey, they he seems to think they still in a relationship, but she's saying they're not in a relationship because not too long ago, just a year ago, he went and smacked another man and told this man to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. So uh, this, this woman got some issues, man. Uh, she's an evil woman. Um, uh, I don't know how any man can put up with a woman like that. Do you feel she's a narcissist? Uh, well, that's that's such a strong word, uh, a strong term to use. Uh, I, do you think? Do you think she's manipulative? I I, I do think so. I, I I do. I do. But she's she's one of many women that's like that. But so are men. Yeah. But uh, of course. Yeah. But to call her a narcissist. I, I I'm not gonna go that far. This may be an off the wall question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Should Will Smith take on the last name of Jada, which is Pinkett, because she's treating him like she's the husband and he's the wife? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, because to me, man, I think she's little boying him in public. You know, she 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 she's embarrassing the guy and. Uh, he's actually quiet uh, behind the scenes, but something tells me that when they're one on one, mano a mano, I don't think he's so quiet. But I think he's trying to preserve his reputation, even though his reputation took a hit when he went on stage and slapped Chris Rock, a man that was 50 or 60 pounds lighter than he was, and tried to defend the honor of, of his wife. But his wife had says said that they have not been intimate in seven years. So even though you're legally married, I think he did that for uh, uh, that particular situation and to show Hollywood that, hey, I'm going to defend my wife. But the woman has said, man, that you guys are not getting down like that no more. I think she is staying in that marriage because she don't want to be the one to initiate the divorce. Because if she initiates the divorce, she's not gonna get as much money than if Will was to initiate the divorce. And perhaps she may be waiting for Will to, to croak. Who knows? You know, I mean, uh, I see a lot of evil in this woman and I really think she needs uh, psychiatric, psychiatric help and, uh, and, and needs to go to a psychologist uh, pretty regularly uh, in, in my estimation. So uh, to answer my question, should Will take on the last name of his wife? Should he be uh, Will, Will Pinkett? A <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 good question. Uh, I would not go that far and say that he should do that. But uh, if we were sitting in the barber shop, of course we would get a good laugh and say that you know uh, he's the wife and she's the husband. But uh, I'm not gonna go that far and say that he should take on her last name. Okay. Now, um, um, yeah, this woman she's still there for the money and. Um, She's not going to initiate a divorce, but you saying that maybe she needs some psychiatric help. I don't think she needs psychiatric help. I mean, she wow. seems like she's in full control of what's going on. I think he's the one that needs psychiatric help. What man do you personally know that will stay in a relationship like that? What man do you know that will stay in the house with a woman for six months and not have a sexual relation? Uh, uh, with him? What man do you know that will stay with a woman that will constantly talk about her ex. How could you do that, man? You, I mean, you just, you just outright uh, emasculate your man, make him feel like he's nothing, make him feel like he's not a man, make you making him feel like he's not enough for you. No man that I personally know would stay in a relationship like that. Well, I, I so know it, he's the one that needs psychiatric help. Uh, I think both of them need uh, psychiatric help. Uh, they both need counseling and even the kids as well because they have some weird kids. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, uh, people who've seen their kids know that they're they're weird. And I think uh, as a whole, the family is weird. Uh, but they both need counseling in my estimation. So does, does it seem like Jada Pinkett Smith is out of control to you and Will has no way to rein her in? 
Uh, yeah, she's definitely out of control, and 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 he can't get her back, man. She's too far gone. Yeah. She's done told too much of the business, man. And uh, when the tell all come out, which is getting ready to come out, uh, she's gonna make her even look more of a fool than what he's looking like now. Uh, but like you said, going back to uh, Will needing help and and she needing help, and the whole family need help. Yeah, all of them have some uh some issues going on, but I think that's a Hollywood thing, man. Uh, it's not just them. Uh, this this kind of crazy stuff goes on in Hollywood every day, man. Uh, men liking men, women liking women. Uh, the kids, the the boy kids want to be women, and the uh, the girl the girl kids are wanting to be men. So I don't. <laughs> it, it, it's just some crazy stuff going on out there in Hollywood, man. And maybe they just been in Hollywood for too long. Well, you know what? I want to revert back to. Uh, you said that you don't know anybody personally who would uh, be married to someone for six months and not have sex. I actually know a couple of people. Uh, somebody very close to me was married uh, and didn't have sex for years. But the thing is, you know, usually when that happens, one or both of them are having outside affairs. You know, uh, because uh, according to scripture, the Bible, the Bible says do not... Uh, withhold sex from your husband you see what i'm saying and vice versa and the husband shouldn't withhold sex from his wife because there are temptations that's going to come your way when you do that and so you can rest assured that will smith and jada uh, uh jada smith uh, are having extramarital affairs because they've already put it out that they were you know uh they actually put it out and and then came back uh sort of like we were just kidding but they weren't kidding uh they were uh, had, had an open marriage pretty much you know what I'm saying where she sees who she wants to see and he sees who uh, he wants to see and we already know because she already said that she had uh, a sexual affair with her son's best friend and so uh, that in itself would tell me that this woman uh, has some mental issues you know it sort of well, remind go ahead well, with that being said, uh, uh, I, I want to believe that uh, they both were in an open marriage. I mean, this has been this has been rumored for years, man. Yeah. But going just listening to an interview with her uh, on the Today Show, which was just a couple of days ago, maybe four days ago, she sort of made it clear that she wasn't in an open relationship. That people believed that she was in an open relationship she said that her and will has been separated since 2016 now i i i, I can almost assure you that you're going to say well uh they might have been separated but they was living in the same house and they still married so yeah uh, you're exactly still married right. and in the same house and you have a sexual relationship outside of the house that's an open marriage so uh, yeah uh, I, so I, I, I guess we can agree that uh, agree to disagree uh, because I'm just going off of what she said. She said that they, she wasn't in an open marriage and she said that they were separated. But at the end of the day, I guess if you uh, in the house and you still married, you are in an open relationship. Hey, Will may beg to differ that her story is a gross distortion of the truth. You know, wouldn't you think? Absolutely. Thank you.